uh, to Phuket Kings Cup. This is our second time to Kings Cup, and we were here in 2006 and uh, then sailed around the world. So now we're back from the trip around the world to sail again. So this boat, Argo, I, I understand that she was built in Bangkok. Absolutely. The vessel was built at uh, Marsan Company in Bangkok on, uh, in Samut Prakan, just in the Chao Priya River. And uh, she's the largest steel schooner built in uh, Thailand. And uh, she was beautifully built by the Thai people. Everything you see here and all the high quality that you see was done by the yard in Marsan. They did a fantastic job, even though they'd never built a sailing ship before. Um, this boat has been uh, around the world after she was commissioned uh, three years ago? Yes, that's right. Actually, two years ago. She was commissioned three years ago, but then came down to sail the King's Cup uh, in 2006, and then left Thailand, uh, sailed up to the Mediterranean Sea, completely around the world over that period of time with students on board in various sections, and uh, then uh, returned here uh, in as good a condition as she left. You know, she's built for the ocean service. She's built for students, for training, uh, for oceanography, for marine science, and for uh, taking students around uh, with the highest safety standards under the British Virgin Islands flag that we fly. Um, you say that uh, this is a sailing school and you have uh, various um, background of children of uh, different nationality joining uh, the vessel. Uh, how would you uh, select uh, those, uh, those students and how one would uh, apply for such a position? Students come to us as part of their regular university or college curriculum uh, in the United States. So it's a full semester on board for 90 days. And uh, they apply to us to have uh, not only their credits for oceanography and marine science and, and the courses that we offer, but also to have a very unique, adventurous experience in their life that and truly you never forget a day of if you start in the Caribbean and end in Tahiti or you start in Tahiti and end in Australia or you start in Australia and end here in Phuket like this group is doing. Uh, it's the kind of thing that you index your life to and it becomes a, a huge experience for them as they, as they travel. We select the ones that pre-select us by looking for adventure, looking for uh, good education, and, and looking for uh, a quality education while they're sailing. Two years ago, you entered Phuket King's Cup for the first time with this Argo, uh, with all the student crew, and you won the prize in classic class. What was that? Uh, we actually won uh, three first, but we uh, got second overall because there was a boat, Cordelia, was a little faster than we were this year. So this uh, series, we've had three races so far, and we got two firsts and a fourth. <laughs> so that was good for the little boats today, and we'll see what comes in the next two days. What do you think your student and your crew would learn from this uh, experience joining the Phuket Kings Cup? And this is the second time for this Argo. I understand it could be a different class from last year. Uh, we're still in the classic class, of course, but uh, we uh, think that, that what they learn from the experience is to uh, have a very unique experience of working together as a team. Uh, something that they get out of uh, working together is uh, to get to know people uh, from all around different parts of the world and different parts of the United States uh, and work together as a team like they never did before. And you get to know people under those sort of circumstances that become your best friends for life, much better friends than, say, you might make from the normal living in and out of a university at home. Mm -hmm. How long have, uh, would this boat remain in Thai water? This boat will uh, now lay over in Thai waters uh, for the period of uh, the Christmas holidays, as we call them, in the new year, and then the new crew will come on board. Mm -hmm. The new crew is intended uh, to, to go to Athens, but of course the Gulf of Aden stands between us and Athens right now, so we're trying to arrange for a security transport to assist us through the Gulf of Aden, but if that's not possible, then we'd like to uh, sail around to the Gulf of Thailand and have the boat on the other side by next April and then start our next semester in uh, Bangkok area, maybe uh, down uh, by uh, Pattaya or something, where we can sail from Ocean Marina out to Cape Town, South Africa. Um, having been on board for, for quite some time on Argo, what uh, inspired you into sailing Kun Jim personally? Uh, personally, I think like lots of us, we're often inspired by somebody very significant in our lives. And for me, that person was Irving Johnson, who sailed around the world seven times for the National Geographic magazine. 
and uh, he uh, always took young people on uh, adventures around the world. For a year and a half they would sail with him and he became very much like a father to me and so all through 1970 to 1982 I ran two very big schooners, about 50 meter long schooners mostly in the Mediterranean and the Caribbean and back and forth across the Atlantic quite a lot and uh, as school ships and uh, since then now in our programs uh, we have uh, about 600 young people every year from 17 countries and uh, about 35 states of the United States every year in training programs, not just here on Argo, but we have another ship in the Caribbean, and we use 18 uh, sun sail boats in the in the summers as well down there in the Caribbean. And we do some uh, small community service programs, both with uh, the DPF Foundation in Klongtoy, as well as uh, in China and out in Australia and in uh, Costa Rica and some other places too. So we have a variety of things going on, not just the sail training. As a Thai Commission boat, uh, would you think about involving Thai of some of the Thai students on, on board? We would love to find some way to involve Thai students. In fact, we heard about the sailing school over at Ao Chalong for the young people there, and I invited them all to come on board, and uh, if we have some opportunity to have them sail with us or, or to at least have an opportunity to be on a real sail training vessel and get a little sense of things that are different from the small dinghy sailing off the beach that they do have the chance to do. But I think uh, Thai children, you know, are really missing something by not being able to do, and my boat is their boat if they want to be here. Yeah, we have such a beautiful water, but you have such a beautiful boat. Perhaps something can, can be done in between. That's what uh, I think, yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm.